Thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, was just talking to some friends over there in the green room, some Finnish musicians, and I said, I better get out there. It's always a real drag when you don't show up when, when you're called. <laughs> But I tell you, it's, it's wonderful to be here. It's so nice to play someplace where there isn't a meat raffle going on, I tell you. you know, you're not going to do that ever, are you, the meat raffles? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a good revenue source. I mean, I like, I like a T-bone as well as anybody, but a frozen one across the face from across the room, no fun, no fun. Anyway, uh, uh, any of you ever seen my act before, you know? Yeah. Well, good. There is some fresh meat out there, too. I appreciate that. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, I am a, um, a certified ethnomusicological technician. And some of the uh, source data, or his music, as they like some people like to call it, that I'm going to play tonight uh, is from the Finnish Triangle, which is the area that I'm come from. Does so everybody know where the Finnish Triangle is? No? You don't know where it is? Okay. Well, if you think of Minnesota as having northern Minnesota and southern Minnesota, Finnish Triangle is in northern Minnesota, okay? But that's big. So uh, if you divide a line across that, you've got northern northern Minnesota and southern northern Minnesota. The Finnish Triangle is in southern northern Minnesota. But that's big. That stretches all the way from Wisconsin to North Dakota. So if you draw a line north and south down that, you've got western, southern, northern Minnesota, and you've got eastern, southern, northern Minnesota. Finnish Triangle is in western, southern, northern Minnesota. But that's big, too. That stretches all the way from Motley to Moorhead. So if you draw a line down the middle of that, you've got western, western, southern, northern Minnesota. You've got eastern, western, southern, northern Minnesota. Finnish triangles in kind of in western, western, southern, northern Minnesota, kind of in the eastern part, kind of in the southern portion of the eastern part of western, western, southern, northern Minnesota. Anyway, thank you. Anyway, uh, back in the 1970s, I was uh, studying at the uh, Southern Northern Minnesota Institute of Ethnomusicological Technology and uh, studying the music of the area and uh, became a certified ethnomusicological technician. I tell you, that was the roughest three weeks of my life, that study. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I wanted to do a couple of tunes that were being played in the Finnish Triangle. And these were wedding tunes uh, that you'd find at weddings and the dances afterwards. And through the process of a very, you know, a technical process called ethnomusicological technology, uh, uh, we were able to find out exactly where these tunes came from, and that's through analyzing the notes through a very technical process called transmaterialization. And we we're actually able to do, tell who played the notes and where they came from. Uh, now this next tune, when we analyzed it, we were, we were surprised to find out it wasn't Finnish at all. It was German. And so we're thinking that it came from Perm, which is a little f further to the west. <laughs> and um, so I, we, we don't really, we call, somebody called it John's Waltz. The bride actually comes in and goes to that. Some people call it Johann's Waltz. Um, I'm not sure what it's actually called, but I'll play a little bit of it for you. Now, the guy who wrote it was probably a, f a farmer and, you know, probably didn't play it as well as I did. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's really interesting. Uh, uh, this, I think his name was John Batch or something like that. 
And uh, it's, we, we discovered this tune in the 1970s, as they say, but somehow it's been disseminated. And I was even at a wedding in Minneapolis, and they were playing it on an organ of all things. Can you believe that? <laughs> But uh, anyway, this uh, next tune is uh, one that uh, uh, the, the bride and the groom danced to. And uh, the, the fellow who actually collected this was uh, an aide from Finland, and he always wrote everything in Finnish. And uh, what he wrote on this tune was Nikari, N-I-K-K-A-R-I, which is Finnish, it's a name, and it means carpenter. And uh, we... Uh, uh, there are plenty of nikaris in the area, so we thought it might be from them, but when we trace the MNA, musical note attributes of this song, we were able to find out it actually came from Southern California, of all things. So, and then it translated, it means uh, near to you or something like that. <laughs> just amazing what the technology was able to do. There's, you know, one time we'd never know where any of those songs came from. Anyway, uh, most of the music in the Finnish Triangle is uh, the music of the bovine musical therapists, or cattle wizards, and there's, I could probably go on for hours about this, but uh, there are some other acts here tonight, and uh, I, I probably won't. And I'm, but I will be up in Detroit Lakes at a bovine musical therapist convention in August if anybody wants to come. And if anybody wants to buy my pamphlet, Bovine Musical Therapy, Is It For You? I do have some copies. <laughs> anyway, I had noticed there was a big lack of Norwegian music in the, in the show tonight. And uh, I, in addition to being a Finn, I'm part Swedish and Norwegian. Each one of my parents was one of those. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, so I thought I'd do a Norwegian tune, and this is good because they're actually uh, mixing some Norwegian red cattle in with the Holstein herds these days because uh, it's true, true, true. And uh, because of the protein count in the milk and the lower somatic cell count, if you're a farmer, you know what I mean. But anyway, here's a, here's a Rhinelander, and it's got some nonsense uh, lyrics to it, which for me, I, since I don't speak... Uh, Norwegian, everything they say is nonsense lyrics, but uh, uh, I tried to put some American nonsense lyrics to this, like Shalala or Dua Didi or Papa Papa Umau, but it doesn't work as well. But anyway, I'll do this Rhinelander and then I'll do it with the uh, nonsense lyrics. <laughs> Thank you. 
well a relay he oh well a relay he oh relay diddly diddly relay he oh well a relay he oh well a relay he oh relay diddly diddly dat daddy day well a relay he oh really relay he oh relay diddly diddly relay he oh well a relay he oh well a relay he oh relay diddly diddly dat daddy day yeah diddly day yep day diddly day yep day diddly day da 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 diddly day yeah diddly day yep day diddly day up day diddly day da 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 yeah diddly day up day diddly day up day diddly day da 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 diddly day yeah diddly day up day diddly day up day diddly day da da Thank you.